In today's video, I talk to you about a new player face that got added in the World Cup update, as well as new player tattoos that came with this World Cup update as well. So I'm pleased to announce that Goros was added into the FIFA 18 World Cup update now through the latest squad updates. He does have the real face, so you can see it for the first time. And he wasn't in my 44 new faces video because he wasn't in the squad at the time. And now with this squad update, he is now in there with the real face. So I'm not sure what happened with Milinkovic Savic. He's still generic and he's now a part of the Serbia squad. I think we just have to wait for some updates on that sort of stuff. I don't know what EA are doing. There's a lot of issues after this World Cup update came out. There's wrong team names and all that stuff. It's, it's a bit weird at the moment. There's a lot of bugs. But yeah, we just have to be patient. And let's move on to the player tattoos. If you're new around here and you want to know all the latest player faces news, click the subscribe button today and the notification bell and you won't be disappointed. So if you didn't know, there has been a few new player tattoos added with the new faces that came in this World Cup update. The first one is Edison from Brazil. Now this one looks to me like a proper scan because he does play for Man City. EA probably would have scanned Man City. And this is one of the best faces in the update. And it's got the beautiful tattoos as well. The big one on his neck. And he also has another one on the other side of his neck. Well, it's not really his neck, it's more like the back of his ear. And you can see with the real life photo on the left that these tattoos in game do look the same. And they did a really good job with these, I really like them. The next player with new tattoos is Belotti from Italy. Now, he just has the one tattoo on the back there, as you can see, it's like a cross. But you can only see sort of half of it because the shirt blocks the other half. I couldn't find a real life image for this guy with the tattoo at the back, it was so hard. So I couldn't throw one in this video to compare, but I'm guessing he does have one, otherwise they wouldn't have put it in. The next player is Corona from Mexico, and he just has the one tattoo on the side there. Has like lips or something, I don't know what it is, I think it's lips. And you can see he does have it in the real life photo on the left, so it's pretty good. But he does have more tattoos on his arms and that, and I'm not sure why they can throw in face tattoos, but they can't throw in like the rest of the tattoos on his arm. I'm not sure if it's a licensing thing or something, but yeah, not bad. Next we have Ricardo Rodriguez from Switzerland, and he just has the neck tattoo on the side. Now obviously this guy is a man of many tattoos on his arms and that, and he does have them in Pez. Unfortunately FIFA can't do it for his arms, but at least we get the one on the side. It sort of helps with the realism when they can throw in a few tattoos here and there. So those were all the new tattoos found in the FIFA 18 World Cup update. Leave a comment, I want to know which one was your favourite. And just to let you guys know, I think tomorrow will be the start date for my England playthrough. I know I promised today would be the day, but I think this video was going to do better for the channel. And we'll do it tomorrow, we'll throw in two episodes for the day, and then we'll go from there. If you want to watch another FIFA 18 World Cup video, tap the thumbnail on your screen right now. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. Remember, you can support this channel on Patreon as well, and I'll see you next time.